come here today to tell you that your dreams can come true. I think that the last year, 2020, has been really tough for everyone, so we need some positive attitude out there, and we need to set a goal for ourselves. And the goal should be to follow your dreams. When I was a kid, I used to struggle with severe asthma. Now, regardless of that, I, was, I had a desire to do sports. So I started cross-country skiing when I was quite young in Norway, because we have a lot of snow here, so it made sense, right? Uh, but then, when I became 12 years old, I had three different viruses hit me. The one was the Epstein-Barr virus, and at the same time, I got the scarlet fever. And then I had some kind of virus that the doctors couldn't tell what was. So exciting, right? No, not really. What happened was I lost all my muscle power from the neck down and I was just lying in bed for months. My father had to carry me around and I remembered that we talked about, you know, how the sports desires should just fade away. The doctor said I could never do sports again. They said that I should feel lucky if I survived. So it was quite bad. Now, lying in bed, I didn't feel sorry for myself. And I tried to study school, and my, my, my parents read the school books for me, and I tried to do homework from the bedside, so that, I didn't lose, so that I didn't lose pace with my other fellow students at the same age. But inside of me, I, I wanted more. I didn't want to give up, really. And one day, my uncle came visit, and he brought with him two movies that I was not allowed to see. It was rated 18 years and up, and I was 12. But I watched them anyway. The movies was Lone Wolf McQuaid and An Eye for an Eye, both starring Grandmaster Chuck Norris. And when I was lying in bed watching those movies, he quickly became my idol. I wanted to be as tough as he was, and I wanted to be as strong as he was, and I wanted to kick some serious ass like he did in the movies, you know? So he kind of lit a fire in me, and I, I got this dream that I, I wanted to be as strong as tough as him, but in order to do that, I needed to gain my power back. So even though the doctor said I'd never ever do sports again, even though that I knew my parents were crying because the doctors couldn't find a cure for my illness, they tried different things. I was allergic to penicillin, and without that, I mean, it, it had to take its course, so there was not really a positive outcome. But watching those movies with Grandma's Norris lit a fire inside my heart. I got this desire to become a martial artist. I remember I told my father that when I became well again, he had to bring me to the nearest karate school, which was a Shotokan school. And he said first, you know, you know what the doctor said, that you, you cannot do sports, you should focus on other things. And I said, no, I want to do karate when I get well again, because I am going to get well again. And I remember the day after, Remember, I lost all my muscle power, but I wanted to do push-ups because I, I knew that I needed to gain back my strength to become a martial artist and to, to, to be able to stand and walk again. So what I did was I slid out of bed and I fell down on the floor like that because I wanted to do push-ups. And I don't know what, what I was thinking, but I had the desire in me, the fire was lit by Garama Sonoris. So I, 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 I imagined that I could do push-ups, even though I couldn't. So I was just lying on the floor until my father picked me up and put me back to bed. And this happened again and again and again, the day after, the day after that, the day after that. And finally, I started to, to, to feel that I regained some kind of strength in my body. And that was only because I watched the movies by Brahma Flores. Now, eventually, I did get my strength back, step by step. All the time having this dream in my head that I wanted to become a martial artist, like Brahma Norris. Now, 34 years later, I have not only met Brahma Norris on numerous occasions, he is my dear friend, he is my grandmaster, and I represent him and his art and his organization, United Fighting Arts Organization, in Europe. Imagine that. A small kid from a small place in Norway. Norway is a small country. It only has like 5 million people in it, like a city in the US or something, right? So, that dream that was sparked 
by watching Rama Sonoris' movie, it still lives within me. But look where it got me. I have been studying the Chaknora system since 2005. I remember my first year studying the Chaknora system, I clocked in 1,256 effective training hours. Because even though in 2005, long after my dream was created by watching those movies, long after I saw it up in my Shotokan Karate School that was nearby, I still had the desire to, to seek out his style, you know, to become like him and everything. So, when I got the chance in 2005, I wanted to make the most out of it. And I sacrificed a lot. You can, you can do the math. 1,256 hours effective training in a year. It's a lot of training hours. It's a lot, I mean, not much vacation time on that. But, today, I represent his art in Europe. I'm the Regional Director of the United Fighting Arts Federation, Region Europe, and I teach students in his art all over Europe today. I own my own school with my, with my lovely wife, Loida, and here at, my, at our academy, we teach the Chagnora system amongst other, other, other styles, and we have produced over 50 black belts in the Chagnora system. So, the dream created within me by Grandma Sonoris, I passed it on to my students. And I met him so many times, I'll, and I'll tell you right away. He is not only a fantastic Grandmaster for all the students in the United Fighting Arts Federation, he's such a wonderful and humble man when you meet him. He's the kindest, he, I mean everybody knows he's the strongest, right, but the, but the values that he um, shared with all the people around him. I mean, he's been my mentor ever since I, I met him. And I, he taught me so much of how I should live, how I should teach, how I should train, how I should look at life. And I really, I really consider him to be my savior because who knows what would have happened when I was 12 years old if I had given up. If I had given up, I am sure that I would not have lived today. But since he lit a fire in me, I'm, I'm, not only am I alive, but I'm affecting other people's lives throughout my teachings all over Europe. Imagine that. So my dream was to become a martial artist like Grandma Norris. Now he's a living legend in the martial arts. I mean, in my opinion, there's nobody greater than him. And he's still training, he's still in the arts, right? Yet he says he's turning 81 this year, imagine. Now, my dream was to become a martial artist, but, but he gave me so much more. I've met friends all over the world, I've traveled all over the world, I got tons of fantastic instructors. I mean, I have Professor John Will teaching me BJJ, I have Benny Ben is teaching me kickboxing, I had uh, Grandmaster Samuel Scott. Uh, my, my best dear friend, Amaguru Rafi Pombon, teaching me Pombon Arnis and his knife skills and his legacy from his family. Uh, I met Richard Norton, I've learned a lot from him. Uh, and all my friends, I mean, Lorin Lapadato in the Pramaga, and all my friends within, within U5, Grandmasters Ken Gallagher, Aaron Norris, uh, Rick Prieto, Steve Hammersley, Howard Munding, Ed Science, Dan Fraser. Uh, Steve Nelson, so many, many great people I have met and whom all have become my friends and I consider my dear friends. And that's only because of the fire that was lit back when I was 12 years old. Now, my request for you is that, or request, my advice for you is that if you have a dream, and you better have a dream because it's not all bad in this life. I mean, I know we had Corona, we still have Corona, the COVID-19 virus. But it's not all bad. You can still follow your dream, okay? But if you have a dream and want to achieve it, you better be prepared to work hard. Because it doesn't come for free. It didn't come for free for me. I sacrificed so many things on my path to, to, to achieve my dream. And I trained so hard to get there, you know? So, if you have a dream, you got to understand that it can happen. You can achieve your dream. you got to be willing to work for it. you got to be patient. 
You got to stay humble. You got to stay focused. Never lose focus on your path. And you need to understand that it doesn't happen overnight. You need to achieve a step by step level towards your end goal, which is your dream. But I'll tell you what, once you reach that dream, and you will if you, if you work hard for it. I mean, if, if you really have a dream, work hard for it. If you, don't, if you don't work hard for it, it's not really your dream, is it? But once you achieve that dream, you will understand that you will get so much more out of it. Because it's the path, it's the journey that brings you there that teaches you about life. I have been so fortunate to, to meet Grandma Sonoris and I'll tell you, he came to Norway together with his lovely wife, Mrs. Gina Kelly Norris. They came to Norway back in November 2019 to visit me and my wife and all my students here at my academy. Imagine that. So by that, the dream that, that was created back when I was 12 years old, it came to Norway. Not only that, it shook hands and gave hugs with every student that I had. So by that, Grandma Sonoris sparked new dreams with 180, perhaps even 200 students during his visit. And I was so proud. I brought him around and we, we watched the, the Viking Museum. We went to visit the Viking Museum in Norway. We went to see the big skiing and ski jumping hill. We met uh, the Olympic champion, the female Olympic champion uh, in, in ski jumping, Mar Lumbi. And we had such a wonderful time, and he shared so many stories with me and visions about life. And it, it was just amazing. So, Grandma Sonoris, I just want to tell you that you saved my life, and you, I'm sure you've saved millions of lives throughout the world by your doings, by your extremely legendary career in the martial arts, which in my opinion still continues because you, you still keep on training, you're still teaching, you're still sharing your knowledge to everyone you meet. It never stops. So you're still sparking dreams in people's hearts around the world. Kids, teenagers, adults. And my advice to everyone is follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Stay true to them, you know, be happy. You have this one life, and if you do have a dream, don't waste your life. Follow your dreams and work stone hard to get there, and you will, I promise. As long as you work for it, you will achieve your dreams, just as I have achieved my dreams. I'm sorry guys if my English is not so good. I'm Norwegian, you gotta remember. I mean, back in the Viking era, we spoke a lot differently than English. <laughs> you know, it's not like the Viking series. Uh, but I hope you, you listen to this video. I want to share with you now some video clips of Grandma and Norris and Mrs. Norris's visit to Norway back in 2019, just to show you how my dream came to Norway after me going to the US a lot of times. But he, he chose to come to Norway to see where I lived, you know, to see my hometown, tiny place in Norway, which is a tiny country by itself. And he shook hands and gave hugs with every single student that I had. What a man, what a legend. Grandma Sonoris, we owe you everything. You will stay in our hearts forever, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I know my family thanks you for saving me back when I was 12 years old. And I'm sure everyone that you have saved around the world would like to give you a great hug and say thanks. A Corona free hug can't hug right now, but I'm looking forward to catching up with Grandma Sonoris again in July in Las Vegas where the uh, United Fighting Arts Federation has its yearly international training conference. That will be amazing. We will celebrate his 80th birthday, which was last year, but we're going to do it here because we were planning this nice birthday party last year. It didn't happen because of the virus. This year it will happen, uh, with a distance I'm sure. But I'm looking so much forward to that, Grandma Sonoris. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me, my family, for everything you've done for the martial arts throughout the world. And I promise you, I will do martial arts as long as I live. And I will keep on sharing your system to whoever wants to learn it. Okay? Thank you so much. I know you've been listening a long time for me now, so, so thank you for that. And please watch the videos that will follow this video.
and see how perhaps the Norse affected all the lives of my students in Norway when they came to visit us. Thank you. Den lille bygda Krokstelva i Buskerud huser blant annet fire frisører, en bakemester, en kebabshappe, tre sportsbutikker og et sted det skal skje noe helt spesielt i dag. Et kjøkk Norris treningssenter. Det er en mix av tradisjonell karate, taekwondo, tang sodo og kickboxing. Kenneth Fjell startet senteret for 14 år siden, men veien dit den var lang. Da Kenneth var 12 år ble han alvorlig syk og ble sengeliggende i mange måneder. Legene ga han dystre fremtidsutsikter. Jeg fikk høre at jeg aldri kunne trene igjen. Jeg husker pappa måtte bære meg rundt, for jeg hadde ikke muskelkraft i hele kroppen. Det som skjedde var at jeg ble foret med filmer som jeg ikke hadde lov til å se på, på grunn av aldersgrense. Der er blant Chuck Norris' Lone Wolf McQuaid og An Eye for an Eye og disse gamle klassikerne. Og jeg bestemte meg da for at jeg skulle bli like tøff som han. Og Kenneth kom seg på bena og startet Esir treningssenter som i dag har 200 medlemmer. Og jeg tror det er på grunn av den illen som Grandmaster Norris tente inn i meg den gangen. Og i dag kom Kenneths største helt, anført av kona Gina og to livvakter treningssentere i den lille bygda. Det er ikke bare for Kenneth at Chuck Norris har fått nær gudestatus. Fans fra hele verden har laget hundrevis av såkalte fakta om amerikaneren. They wanted to put Chuck Norris on Mount Rushmore, but the granite wasn't tough enough for his beard. <laughs> this is my man right here. He's, we've been, he's a wonderful man and a great guy, and so it's just a great to be here. Get a chance to, I'm gonna to cry now. <laughs> meet with him, talk to him, and, and meet all of his students and all of his black belts, you know. Han, um, han er flink til å si sånne ting, og... Uh, for meg, som han er mitt forbilde, han er min mentor, og når han sier sånne ting til meg, så jeg ber jeg bli rørt, selvfølgelig. Her er den verdenskjente skuespilleren og kampsportutøveren Chuck Norris på plass i Norge. Nærmere bestemt på kampsportsenteret Asir Academy, som er drevet av Kenneth Fjell. Reason behind the visit is to to meet this man, to be with this man, to be with him, and uh, and to see all of his students and his black belts. That's that's the reason why I'm here. Den 79 år gamle skuespilleren tog sig tid til store og små og møtte alle med et venlig blikk og et stort smil. And then of course he came into my life, and uh, so it's really been great. I mean, this is my man right here. He's we've been he's a wonderful man and. A great guy, and so it's such a great to be here. Get mm. a chance to... I'm going to cry now. <laughs> meet with him, talk to him, and, and meet all of his students, and all of his black belts, you know. Yeah. How can you stay so healthy and good-looking still <laughs> at this age? Just because of me, you know? <laughs> Tell me the secret. What, what's uh, the secret of staying, staying? Uh, training, training. Oh. Yeah. Stay yeah, training. Working, working out, and, and, you know, and, and, and just my thought of, uh, you know, of what... Uh, is important in my life, keeping things going, and and uh, and, and been and been guys like Ken. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what helps keep me going too. Mm -hmm. This is what keeps me going. And well, they're tidly at Norris betyr enormt mye for Fjell. Uh, Grandmaster Chuck Norris. Han, uh, uh, når jeg var ung, uh, så blev jeg syk, alvorlig syk. Og legene klarte ikke helt å finne ut hva det var, men jeg mistet muskelkraften i kroppen min og måtte bæres rundt og skoleres hjemme i noen måneder. Jeg fikk høre at jeg aldri kunne trene idrett igjen, og jeg var langgrunnsløper før det. Det ble sniket inn noen filmer til meg på, på rommet mitt for at jeg ikke skulle kjede meg for mye. Og fra filmer som Scooby-Doo og Disney så gikk det over til 18-årsfilmer som jeg ikke hadde lov til å se på, men Chuck Norris filmer da. Og når jeg så hvor tøff han var på lærete, så tenkte jeg... Sånn vil jeg bli. Jeg vil bli like tøff som han. Jeg vil få tilbake styrken min, kreftene mine, og bli sånn som han. Og jeg ble frisk, og det var fordi Grandmaster Norris han tente en, en ill i meg som brenner sterkere for hver, hvert år som går, egentlig, men som startet den gangen, og som har brunnet i meg i 33 år. Og jeg tror, hadde det ikke vært for han, 
så hade jag stått här idag. Special. He's very special. He's part. He's, he's a very very important part of our whole system. You know, and uh, and it wouldn't be the same without him. And uh, for him and for him to. Han har skrutt väldigt av det tidigare här idag och och säger att du är er, du är er helt unik och du har reagerat på det. Varför varför blev du så beväget? Jag måste bara undersöka för det får tårar i ögonen, men jag blir beväget av det fördi den man betyder så mycket för mig. Han är er, förutom min familj det som driver mig vidare. Han är er motorn i mig och det har han varit sedan jag var 12 år och var väldigt sjuk och det att jag fick höra att jag aldrig kunde göra något som helst av läger och att utsikten så dåligt ut till att stå här idag och ha undervisat jag vet inte hur många hundra elever jag har undervisat i alla dessa år och jag har över 40 sportbälter i Norge att han kommer med en sån erklaring det självklart blir jag rörd. I want to thank United Fighting Arts Federation with Grandmaster Chuck Norris who saved my life when I was 12 years old. Thank you to all my friends and mentors in UFAC. Thank you, Professor John Will. I'm a guru Rocky from Vaughan. Uh, thank you to my lovely wife, Loida, who's always backing me. Thank you to my kids, Adrian, Tom Vincent, and Kiana. Uh, thank you to all my amazing and fantastic students, you know, our rising stars like uh, Tom Vincent and Aida, who's always supporting me. Thank you to Team Acer Academy. And thank you to all my friends in the martial arts throughout the world. I love you so much. Thank you so much, guys.